So we have encountered a major obstacle here in the road on the uh, little side, little uh, back road to the Jackson Road Trailhead. There is a fallen a fallen tree. I'm having to cut through it just to get to the trailhead. So I hope that everything is. I hope this is worth it today. So I was using this little wire saw and it broke. But luckily, I got through enough of the limb, of all of them, that we're going to be able to drive through with no problem. Hi, this is Just Plain Philip, and we're out here today on the Knobstone Trail. We're not too far from the Bartle Knob Road, maybe three quarters of a mile. And uh, we stopped up at the Jackson Road Trailhead, and we're just taking a good little hike today. And we may have, we may stop and have our dinner here. It's a, it's an evening today, and it's a nice, cool, comfortable evening. And we're looking forward to uh, a good hike and uh, maybe learning a few things and seeing some beautiful scenery. I, I just can't believe how good it looks out here. Just take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hear the one, Daddy. You must be quiet. Man, it's like a fire maker's dream here. We found standing dead grass so we could make a bird's nest. We found sassafras standing dead. And also, the pine cones. So we ought to be able to boil us up a couple of cups of water in a little canteen sto uh, stove. And, uh, well, I'll film it here and see how successful we are. It started for a second and it, it's all so wet. Daddy. I got some. Well, it ain't pretty, but we went ahead and used the Esbit stove. And we're throwing some pine cones in there and and some uh, sassafras. And we're using Nesbitt. And you smell that sassafras burning? Yeah. I love that. So we got cheddar broccoli. We got canned chicken breast. We got success. Looky there. Two bowls. A little bit left over there. Whoever wants that can have it. And we got the food critic here. Blow on it a little bit and tell me what you think. Take a bite. What's the word? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to finish up our meal here. We're going to finish up our meal here. And then we're going to uh, relax for a few minutes and then get back out on the trail. We only got a couple more hours left to sunlight, and um, you know we got to get home. All right, so I'm leaving this place in at least as good a condition as I, I got it. I'm gonna get a, get out a couple of things here that a couple of people have left, as we had there has been a fire place here before, and somebody has camped. So yeah, some people have left some people have left some things and. So uh, we're going to get on out of here and head on back towards the car, the trailhead, because yeah, it's getting dark. Like we've only got maybe an hour, an hour and a half left of sunlight, and we've got to get going. So that's where our path is ahead. You can barely even make it out from here. It's 
it's wild. You walk through here and you can't even see a path 20 feet ahead of you. But you know it's there, just like this one. It's camouflaged so well. Wow. And once again, you can barely see the path below. And you can hear the little creek we were st standing in, but you can't hardly tell that there's a trail here. All right, Clara, you just made it all the way up that big hill all by yourself. How's that feel? You feel like you can do anything now, can't you? Yeah. All right. All right, this is just plain Philip. We're just down the hill from the trailhead where we parked the car. And the uh, sunlight's quickly fading. What little bit we had, it was mostly overcast today. So it's kind of dark. But we've had a great time. Um, we've learned a little bit about you know, trying to make a fire when it's when it's been damp and rainy a lot. Uh, you know, we've learned that it's actually just a little bit easier just to grab the espit <laughs> and uh, you know cheat. That's that's how it goes sometimes. And we uh, we've really accomplished a lot today. We we pushed ourselves and we've done more than we thought we could. And I'm very proud of Clara. She did a great job not getting freaked out about bugs. And she did a great job on the hills coming up and going down. And she didn't slip and fall and hurt herself. And she did a great job for a little four year old. Yeah. And I'm more confident to bring her out here. I think she can handle short trips, maybe two or three miles on a day. And I think we could have a really great time out here. Maybe we'll even get out here and do a couple of overnight You're together. <clears throat> Rate my video, subscribe to my channel, post a comment, or your own video of your own experience on a on a knobstone. And subscribe and send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great Memorial Day weekend, and you'll be seeing more of me. Bye bye.